get this cranked up real quick, real proper like. Hey everybody, Live Farmer 73. Um, how y'all doing today? <clears throat> Just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about if you got, even if you got a break in the action, if you got just an hour, if you got 30 minutes of your, of your, the temperatures dropping, it was just, it was just 60 degrees. I kid you not, I was on my motorcycle just an hour ago. And now, it's about to start freezing again. If if you have... Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, by the way, sorry for dumping on y'all yesterday. Just, man, sometimes this world kind of nibble on your, your grapes a little bit, don't it? <clears throat> Listen, I got a video coming out, and I'm going to let it out tonight. I was doing all kind of crazy stuff to it, but I'm going to let it out tonight because it's something I want to show you guys. Uh, if you got, if you got an hour, if you got 30 minutes, if you got 15 minutes, if you got 10 minutes, hey, Andale, hey, everybody, it's good to see you here. If you got any time, I know, I know us on YouTube, we make everything look all shiny and glitzy and glamoury or whatever the crap we do, you know, but it, it's not that serious. Hey, Miss Finance, it's not that serious. If you guys got just a few minutes, you you need to be growing some food. <clears throat> I'm not getting into the whole conspiracy, oh, the sky is falling crap. What's up, Turf? What's up, brother? But, hey, GG's natural. But right now, everybody, absolutely everybody, if you are just a passerby and you are just watching, you know what I say? Even the trolls that keep coming to bug us, <clears throat> I know you got a job to do too, sucker. But I promise you, you need to be growing some food, Mr. Troll and, and all the other good people in here. Everybody need to be trying to grow some food. I'm out here and I let my peppers sit out in this doggone cold and fold up when they should be in this greenhouse. I've had these peppers for two seasons in this greenhouse, something like that. And they come back stronger every year. And I slipped. And now I got to start from scratch. So if you got just a few minutes. Uh, you see all my dead peppers here? I'm about to pull all of this. Like right now. I'm, I'm doing this video mainly for a question that I keep getting. Um, he, what's my thoughts on quail? What, do you, what kind of question is that? What do you mean by my thoughts on quail? What about them? Eating them, cooking them, hunting them, what? I don't know what your question is. You got to be a little bit more specific. But right now, if what's your thoughts on quail? See, that that's that's where we that's where we messing up. What are your thoughts on quail? Whether you hunting them, you raising them, you eating them. What are your? How do you feel about them? How I feel is not going to help you. You got to, listen, you got, right now is what the reason I'm doing this video. You got to stop watching me and start doing for yourself. You, it's time for you to make some decisions for yourself, all of us. We're waiting on somebody else to push us that direction. We're waiting on somebody else to say, that's good with me. We got to cut that crap out. We got to stop that. Listen, it don't matter what I think. I, for instance, that you're interested in quail. Correct. Okay. That means you're interested in quail. That means you're taking some type of liking to quail. That's all you need to know. Because if you would ask me, what do I think about quail? I don't like the way they taste. They're super loud and noisy and super messy. See, that might not work for me, but you might adore them. Guess what else? Guess what else? I'm scared of dogs. I don't want dogs in my house. I don't want dogs on my land. See? So if you was to ask me, should I get a dog? I'm going to tell you absolutely not. See? Don't wait on, don't roll with other people's opinions about 
what's good for your lifestyle. Now, if you asking me, you know, how you look in a dress or something, I'm gonna, you know, I'll give you that opinion. But when it come down to your survival right now, right now, no, nah, no, nah, you shouldn't be asking nobody what they think, family. You, you wait no other gardeners on YouTube to tell you to plant what to plant, what time of the season you need to plant it, what kind of fruit and vegetables you should be planting, when, how, where. No, 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 no. You need to get your butt up right now. Go to the store, purchase some seeds. Look, just do say, what seeds should I buy? Buy as many as you can. Buy one of everything. That's what us gardeners do. We buy a little bit of everything. Stuff that I know good and will will not grow here. I'm buying it. Because you don't know, you don't know nothing until you plant it. You understand? Seeds is just like people. You don't, you didn't meet this dude because he was fine. You met him because he was nice. You wouldn't have never knew that unless you just tried him out. Had a conversation with him. You just don't know right now. We All of that stuff is out the window. Here's the reason I'm doing this whole video in the first place. The whole reason for this video is I keep getting this question that baffles me. For the life of me, I don't understand it. But I, I got to be honest with you. It's a question that if I don't answer it, it don't seem like it's getting answered. Here's the question. Every season, and I know a lot of us OG gardeners been hearing this a lot. And I've been seeing it in all y'all videos in the comment section. The question is, when you're, when, after the season is over. Let me, let me back up. Let me rewind. Everybody keeps saying, what kind of soil do I get? What kind of soil do I need? 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 Right? And this what this what throws me off. And then people get mad when I say, man, I just use anything. And I'm going to tell you, stick with me. The reason why I keep telling you I use anything, and I'm starting to put two and two together, because people, that better not be rain. That better not be rain. I'm putting two and two together. And what I'm coming with, up with is people, they'll, when they, like here, this pepper is done. This pepper is done for the season. It, it's done forever. It ain't done for the season. It's done. You know what people are doing? They're taking their plant and throwing the whole thing away. They're throwing away the pot. No, I don't have honey available, but I'm going to teach you how to get some honey. I'm going to teach you how to get your own so you never have to ask another soul again. Okay. I don't have honey to sell, but I, I, I can teach you how to get your own so you never have to ask another soul for the rest of your life about honey. Because you will know if you have some. That's what I do here. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you never have to ask another single soul for tomatoes, for peppers for honey, for sugar cane, for nothing. That's the vocabulary that I was talking about yesterday that we need to stop, okay? We gotta stop that. We gotta stop it. Cause I'm telling you family, in a minute, you ain't gonna, you're gonna only be able to depend on yourself. So now, I got people throwing this whole bucket away. And all of y'all OG gardeners in the house, y'all been seeing it too. Because I've been reading it in y'all comment section too. People throwing the bucket, the soil, the dead plant. No. This is what you do, uh, family. You take that old plant. You rip that sucker out. You leave your soil in here. No. And you shake that sucker like he stole your wallet. That ain't even good enough. You shake that sucker like he just called your mama a nasty name. 
You throw that away. You, look at it. You don't throw this away. Okay? Now, if you just went one season, this thing's still good. You could just start planting right back in here. But if you, it done been dried out and it got a lot of roots and it's root bound, take it out, dump it on a tarp, put it in a pile, and do all of your buckets like that. All of your buckets. All of your containers. But you shake that sucker half to death. Okay? <clears throat> You do away with the wood. You burn that in, in, in the fire pit or something. Or put it in the compost pile. But you keep your soil. I keep wondering why everybody keep buying so much soil. Now, I ain't talking about new people that just discover my channel. I'm talking about people that have been watching me for years. I keep wondering, why does she keep buying soil every single year? Buy the pallet full. I couldn't understand it. But now I'm starting to put two and two together. Keep your soil. Look, look, look. It even becomes richer with all the nutrients and stuff that you put in it. All the nutrients and, and the, the roots that was in it left nutrients. Leave that in the bucket. Because now all I got to do every year, which I do, pull this stuff off and plant right back in this same bucket. I don't got to go hunting for no soil. If anything, you might need to add a little bit of extra. But you ain't got to go out there taking out no damn bank loan to go purchase no soil so you can grow some food. I'm seeing a lot of that. And that's, that's the problem right now. Right now, I'm seeing people spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on, on buying food, on buying plant stuff. After a while, it don't make no sense. See what I'm saying? Instead of just buying some food, I, I don't know. It just don't make no sense to me. So this is the simplest thing I can tell you. Look, I'm going I'm to I'm run it for you real quick. See this? All of these buckets, all these got dead stuff in it. Look, look at that. Take that sucker right out of it. Pull that sucker out. Kick him out the club. Kick him out the club. He in here cutting up. He's drunk. He disorderly. Watch this. Watch this now. Look. Ain't nothing left. Leave your soul alone. You throw that away. But then look at this. You got a whole bucket full of pure, righteous soil right there. No, family. And it only take you a few minutes. So all of these plants, watch this. I'm going to do this, do this sucker too. Take his whole head off. Leave your stuff. Leave your stuff. Pull this mess out of here. Big old big, big. Look, now see how he root bound? See how that one is root bound? I'm going to put him to the side because I'm going to shake him off on a tarp. That way, I'll get a lot of that and I will have no worry. But so far, look, y'all just watch me. I got one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Already that fast. Look, here goes seven. Well, y'all can't see that. Here goes seven right here. And, and keep all my steaks. You don't gotta keep buying steaks. Stake up your tomatoes and stuff. Put that sucker back in there. Y'all kidding me? I'm wonder, I've been wondering about this. I've been wondering about it. Like, what's going on with this? Why is everybody procrastinating and I keep hearing because I ain't got no money to start again this year. I ain't got no money to start again this season, man. Look at that. See that? Watch this. I'm about to drain that sucker. You know what you do with a sucker? You had him buy you drinks all night. There you go. It's a sucker. He ain't got nothing left. See that? Look at another one. Here go another one. Break that suck off. You ain't gonna need. Keep your stakes. Keep your zip ties. Pull that suck up. Don't be gentle with it. All that gentle stuff, man. Leave that. that that's for HGTV. 
knock his head off. Now look, I got a plant, a bucket full of soil, already been mixed up and garbage. So I'm going, I'm going to just sit here and I'm going to add, so far I got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven buckets. That's that. All I got to do, I got to shake off a few more. I got to shake off a few more and I'm done. That stuff is ready for planting. So take every second you got of your day and do something in your garden. See what I just did? Didn't take no time, did it? You know why? That little bit of time doing what I just did to prep my garden so tomorrow, if I got 10 minutes, come drop a seed in it. Just squeeze off a couple seeds in that mug. Then that's it. Everybody think that, okay, I'm gonna start gardening tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow and I'm gonna have all day. After I take the kids to school, run a couple errands for my mama. Don't do that. You will never get nothing done. You will never get nothing done. This how you, let me stop. <clears throat> This how I garden. I knock out a couple things at a time. This how I clean my house. I clean the bathroom, then I'm done. I clean the bedroom, then I'm done. I clean the living room, then I'm done. So, <clears throat> is there a reason you only use black buckets? Curious. Yeah, because they cheap. I can, I can answer that a little better because I got white buckets too. <coughs> <coughs> what in my years of using uh, containers, five gallon buckets, white buckets crumble fast for some reason. I don't know. Y yeah, black buckets do attract more heat and everybody keep thinking that that's a problem. I've been growing in buckets <coughs> for years. More than I've been on YouTube. Just go back in my history and you'll see for yourself. And you're going to see a bunch of, if you go back about 10 to 12 years ago on YouTube, you're going to see me planting all of my garden, half of my garden in black laundry tub containers like this. Just like this. Just like that. That ain't nothing but a Walmart laundry tub. I go, I've been doing this for over 12 years. I got them in five gallon buckets in them. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get out here, family. It's a whole bunch of folks talking about what they gonna do. King, I'm a bata. Queen, I'm a Ghana. Stop that, man. Get out right now. Look, I'm thinking it's about to rain or storm or snow or sleet. But I said, you know what? I, I promise you. Me and my son was out riding motorcycles, and I said, you know something? That's enough. That's enough. We had a whole plan for the day. Uh, but I had to cut that out. Do you have to use food grade buckets? Um, I'm going to just put it to you like this. Everybody to each his own. What are your shoes made of? What, what are your shoes right now that you have on your feet? What are they made of? What are your clothes made of? Are they 100% cotton? 100% cotton. Do you have on some style of watch on your wrist? Do you have on a hat? Do you have on gloves? Do you have on socks? My, the reason I'm asking you that, because every time somebody say something about food grade buckets, look at what your shoes are made out of, and they're on one of the closest things to your body. They're on your feet that absorbs more stuff than you will ever know. So it's a lot of people, your toxins come straight up into your feet. And you got on synthetic socks and shoes made out of God only know what. Your shoes, nine times out of ten, are made of some sort of petroleum. Rubber-based, plastic-based, synthetic materials. And it's on your skin constantly. So you're constantly absorbing your pores are there to absorb that's why if you touch with one finger 
some very toxic drugs like some police accidentally do. You know why they end up getting high and falling out? Because that's how good your skin absorbs the air around you. And people don't even think about that. Your, your skin is an organ. This is like your heart beating right here. And we never think about it. Everything you touch, you absorb. If you start washing your dishes and stuff and you got bleach in there, you're absorbing that chlor chlorine in that bleach. If you're messing around and you end up, if somebody <coughs> ends up doing drugs and they got residue on them and you touch it, you going to get high too. That's why I don't hang around people that do drugs like that. Because you don't, you, have you ever went for a job interview? <clears throat> have you ever went for a job interview? And they told you, no, you, you, you can't have a job because you have drugs in your system. You know how many people I know done that? You got drugs in your system. I don't smoke no drugs. I don't drink. I don't know. Do, what are you talking about? You hang with people to do though. Because you, you are a walking, living sponge. So I don't never care about all of that nonsense if if you going if you want to get that organic you got to be that organic a hundred percent right now <clears throat> my situation is this if you don't get no food right now you're going you're going you may die <laughs> if you don't get keep food somewhere you may die if you don't start trying to grow some food some kind of way, any kind of way you freaking can, you may die. Because clearly we can all see that they have given up on us. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say they've given up on us. We're not a priority. You're not a priority. You're, we're expendable. Don't, don't say that word. <clears throat> We're expendable. And I'm sure they really won't mind if it's less of us polluting the planet. You dig what I'm saying? So right now, our priority is to grow as much food as you possibly can. Any way you can. However you can. Don't get into all the HGTV bullcrap part of it. Don't get into that part of it. Because all the beauty and the glamour and the glitz and the, the crap, that's what keeps throwing people off. Man, did you see what I just did? That's the reality of this. See, everybody likes to see when I pull some food off and grow. Come on. <clears throat> Come on field trip see <clears throat> everybody likes to see this everybody likes to see this part of the game they like to see the fruit they like to see you eat it they like to see bountiful harvest They like to see that part, see? They like to see that. People want livestock. People want livestock. But they don't want to do the part to make it all work. And that part is ugly. Okay? That part is ugly. If you are gardening, you know there's a difference between <clears throat> setting up this camera, making sure my hair is right, making sure I got on the right type of clothes, then hit play, you're live. It's a difference between that and getting your butt out here in the rain or in the cold or in the heat you sweating in places that nobody should see beside unless they got a ring on your finger. And you smelling like a dog on werewolf. That's the real gardening part. That's the part that people don't want to see. We put a lot of fluff and bull crap in these videos. You've seen some of my nonsense. That's to try to hope that you, if that'll attract you to do it, do it. If not, you know what I'm saying? 
but the real deal is ugly. Don't nobody want to see, 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 see we, 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 we judge reality just like we judge each other. She ain't pretty enough. He ain't fine enough. He ain't got enough muscles. She ain't got enough backside on her. She ain't got enough chest. See, we judge stuff like that. You look at my garden and be like, whoa, look at this. If this was my thumbnail, you would be like, next. I'm telling you. But see, if I do like this, you're going to click on that. Because you want to see how I got them oranges. Everybody that's gardening, please tell the people that ain't gardening. That's bullshit. Please tell them. Because when you've been out in the garden all day, and you've been gardening for real, for real, you, you smell like despair. You hot. You sweating. And you smell like your, your parents' disappointment by the time you come back into the house. Okay? You smell like a bad report card. That's what the real deal is. And it ain't going to be pretty. But that's the part I want to show you. I want to show you, man. It, it ain't always. This ain't glimmers. Forget that part of the game. If you got time to do it, do it. Am I eating a whole orange? This is a sweet Miwa kumquat. The peel is edible and the peel is super sweet. The peel is actually sweeter than the orange itself. You eat the whole fruit on these. See? Somebody just got some knowledge. Sweet Miwa kumquat. This is, this, see? That's what I'm talking about. If you don't know, you will never know. You got to ask some questions and you got to really just get, if you get out there and you start doing it, if you start buying all these trees, you start planting all this food, and then you'll be like, you'll understand what we talk about when we talking about how it tastes. You eat the whole sweet miwa kumquat. The other ones is can be sour and bitter. This whole thing is sweeter than a sun-kissed orange. Okay? If you can find one, that is my absolute favorite tree on my whole land. So, my, my message to you. Right now, from what I've heard... Please, oh my goodness, go plant whatever you can, however you can, whenever you can, and plant it in whatever you can get your, your hands on. Plant it in a boot. I done showed you me plant food in a boot. I done showed you me plant food in a porta potty. A bedside commode. I literally grew jalapeno peppers out of it just to prove a point. Just to prove a point. <laughs> Just to show you, because I keep hearing, I can't. I, well, I ain't got enough space. I ain't got to. And I showed you. And it, after that, there's nothing else I can tell you. I can't, I can't stop you from making excuses. But I can, I can dispel the, 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 um, the lies. I can, I can make that go away. I can make your excuse go away. Because you said, I ain't got enough space. And then I pull out a five-gallon bucket and grow in there. Here you go, right here. Boom. You know what that is? Blueberries. I don't need no more blueberries. But they're going to grow in this bucket. No, you don't have to take blueberries out of this container. They can stay right here for about 10 years and pump off blueberries. Because they, they just happen to be one of those plants. So I'm telling you, family, get yourself together. Get up, get out, and plant something. If you don't, you may be in trouble. I keep... I keep uh, telling y'all this because I'm telling you the way stuff is going. How many people got chickens? How many people got, how many people even thought about livestock? How many people even thought about it? Uh, let me see. Do you plant a blueberry or buy the bush? 
You can do either. Just go by the bush. You ain't, we, we running out of time. We running out of time. Okay, any quick questions real quick? I promise you, start getting start getting your dog on go go start getting your dog on livestock right. Ducks, you got ducks, okay. Start somebody got chicken. Start getting your livestock game up. I was in a, I was in a store this been about a month ago. Chicken thighs. For a pack of chicken thighs. I could have bought a T-bone steak. Have you seen this? Have you seen it? And here's another one. Right after this video, I'm going to just stop editing this other video and I'm going to release it. What The video is the price of trees when I went out looking at them the other day. In your old coop, how many chickens did it hold? Um, Here's my old coop. It, it comfortably held... Ugh, it comfortably, I'm trying to let you be able to see the whole coop. Comfortably about um comfortably about eight to ten chickens. Because I had a I had a run in there too. Now let me tell you something about that too. If you're interested in chickens, the coop, the coop itself does not have to be big because that's all they're doing in there is going in there for protection going in there at night and going in there to lay eggs that does not have to be big you want as much space in your chicken run as possible what can i plant besides herbs in my apartment dwelling i'm gonna have you i'm gonna have you google that okay because i don't know where you are what your i don't know anything about how your apartment is set up mm. let me see which chickens, which chickens are the best layers led? Buff Orpingtons. Buff Orpingtons are my absolute favorite, but I haven't seen any in like two years. Buff Orpingtons. Orpingtons are my absolute hands down favorite. This is why. This is why. One, they super egg layers. Two, they let out super big eggs. Three, um, <clears throat> very, very, very productive. Four, you don't need no incubator because they go broody a lot. So as soon as a nest get filled up with eggs, you don't have to incubate them. If you got a rooster, mind you. If you got a buff Orpington, they go broody real quick and they'll incubate your eggs for you. We artificially incubate our eggs, but the only reason me and Lady Led did it last year is because we don't have any more buff Orpingtons. I can't find any. What? Uh, dirt please what kind any kind you can get your hands on I, uh, I just got through talking about that uh, what annual do you grow that's an absolute banger um, that's totally up to you because you might not like what I like uh, do you think getting chickens from Wilco is okay I've never even heard of Wilco I get mine from tractor supply and I raise them myself we actually used to breed chickens not breed them for for show, but literally just breed them to get more chickens. Um, let me see. Can you use lead? Can you use garden soil to grow in pots? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. If Wilco is like tractor supply, if you can go get some chickens, go get some chickens. It don't matter where you get them from. It, it don't matter. Uh, thinking about getting ducks in the spring. Get them can can only have two hens no roosters allow where i'm at no, really nobody can have roosters i keep a rooster just till he start making a whole bunch of noise so he can fertilize a few eggs when he get of age and then i, I sell him off i sell him off <laughs> i'm sorry I, I sell him off a little bit uh let me see y'all caught that. Sell him off. I put him on Craigslist. Uh, let me see. Uh, praying that the loquats can make it through the winter last storm is coming. I got a loquat right behind me. Loquats is going to be fine. This is a loquat right here with the green leaves on it. I got one over there and one way back there. And I got three in the front of the house. 
cold ain't gonna do nothing to them. Unless you're talking about the fruit. Now that's different. Because mine is blooming too. Let me see. What we got? Well, here, here's a question. Uh, Led, are you growing? Are you growing any? Dang, I keep missing it. Kitchen area, wood living, limited light. I miss. Am I growing south kitchen area light? Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah, listen, it don't it don't matter what I'm growing. What are you growing? This is what this is all about. Potato, whatever you feel like growing, just start growing it. Don't don't worry about what I'm growing, y'all. Don't worry. It, it don't even matter what state I'm in. You need to find your grow zone. My whole rep your zone shirt, my whole rep your zone thing, that means figure out, go to Google, ask you what is my grow zone in Colorado. They're going to tell you what your grow zone is. From that point, now that you know that it say it's like 5A or something or 6A, now you know when you go online and look for a tree, plants, it says this will only grow in zone 8A or 6B. Then you know where to grow in your area. How difficult is it for beginners to get and raise chicken? Way easier than dogs. Chickens take care of themselves. What is loquat? I'm going to have you Google that. Chickens take care of themselves. Uh, Led, they said you can't grow lemons and oranges in West Tennessee. What do you think? Um, that, That's a lie. Because I got people growing, literally, go to my Facebook <clears throat> my Facebook grow club, and you'll see people in Ohio and Canada growing lemons and oranges. That's a lie. Do you know what else? They said we couldn't grow lemons. They said we could not grow citrus in the ground in South Carolina. I'd go grab a lemon right now. It's still hanging on the tree. Don't let nobody fool you thinking that you cannot grow nothing. And stop watching HGTV. Stop watching that garbage, man. Stop watching that. Ain't nobody about to come up here in uh, some Argyle socks and a plaid shirt talking about um posies. And, man, 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 man. If you don't get your butt out there and go grow some food, you ain't gonna make it. We sit and watch HGTV too much and then be like, I wish I could do that. You know what else you do? You watch HGTV and look at them people. Uh, 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 what's the one my mama love to watch on? About them going off buying houses and buying land. All you do is watch. Stop sitting in the bleachers. Take lessons from that show and you go do it. Go buy your own house. Go start looking for your own land. Part of that show is real. Part of that show is right. Going to look and hunt. House hunters, that's what it's called. Go hunt for your own doggone house. Stop sitting in an apartment talk about some you trying to grow peach trees in your on your balcony of a one-bedroom apartment. Man, it's time for you to take some lessons from that channel, man. Go go start trying to purchase you a home. If you ain't got no money, I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's an app for that. It's ways around that. It's ways around that. I promise you, you know how many people that I know <clears throat> that ain't have a nickel to their name and end up purchasing some land? See, it's so many government um, um, programs where you will qualify for. And people, you know what? The only people that end up getting those lands that they qualify for and ain't got but $200 in their pocket, they keep it to themselves. They don't, sp you don't see no commercials about that. See, anything that's going to have you successful out here, you don't see no commercials for that. You only see commercials for things that's going to tear you down. You only see commercials for stuff that's going to ruin your life. You only see commercials for stuff that's going to destroy your health. All the restaurants. You don't see commercials for telling you how to come down here and get this money. You don't see no commercials for people telling you how to come get these grants. My brother over there at uh, Grow Family Network, he can he keep on putting out videos trying to tell people how to get one of these uh, grow tents. The real one, not these cheap Amazon jobs. The real uh, high tunnel. He keep on putting out videos to tell people how to get a free one or how to get one where they cost like eight 
thousand, ten thousand dollars and getting them for twelve hundred dollars. It's 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 an app for that, and don't nobody pay no attention to this stuff. If you go and start looking and you start googling and start asking the right questions, you're gonna get the right answers. Right? We 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 go online and we ask dumb questions. That and you're gonna get dumb answers. That's why that happens. You go online and start talking about some. Is Jessica Alba really white or is she Latina? Them the questions we ask when we go online and Google stuff. Who cares? Who cares what, what nationality she is? Whatever she is, it ain't going to have nothing to do with you. Jessica Alba will never shake your hand and sit at your dinner table and eat nothing with you. Whether it's going to be casserole or burritos, it ain't going to make no difference. You need to be on there Googling and asking folks, man, how do I get some land? You know what the next question, that, that machine going to ask you, how much money you got? How much money you got to play with? Okay, I got 200. Okay, here's your options. Here's a program for this, that. As soon as you start looking for land, you know what's going to happen? All kind of programs is going to pop up on, in the sidebars. And if you don't start doing your own research and just looking around for reality, we got the doggone world in the palm of our hands, literally. This phone and your computer is the world, literally the world's knowledge, man's knowledge, mind you, in the palm of your hands at the swipe of a thumb. But we use all of that power to go to Tic Tac and watch the new latest dance. I, I just, I just never, I never understand it. I never understand it. All that power, like all, all mankind, we got all this power. We got all this power. And we choose to use it to destroy one another instead of living in harmony. We use it to destroy each other. And we doing the same thing right now. We got all this power, really, me and you, because you watch me on your computer or your phone. You got all that power that you watching me on. That, that phone does a lot of stuff. You want to know something else? I'm going to tell you how powerful your phone is or your computer is. Your phone and your computer is so powerful that you're scared of it. That's why when you're doing something you ain't got no business doing, you put a napkin over the camera. That's why when you're saying something you ain't got no business saying, you put your phone in the other room and you go in this room. That's how powerful this technology that you looking at me on, that's how powerful it is. We scared the people listening to us, ain't we? How you think they catching all them politicians and all that dirt and filth that they doing? Use that same power that you afraid of right here. Use that same power and advance your life and your lifestyle. Get your butt up. And go out there and plant something. Get out there and start. Just start. You know what? Let me show you something real quick. I got some. I got. I got. A, I got a shovel. A little baby shovel. Sitting right here in front of me. Little baby shovel. Come on. We gonna come on down. Let me show you. See, this is stuff that I don't feel like doing. But look, man. Look, man. Go ahead. Dig it out. Look, you use your baby shovel. You use your kid's shovel. I don't care if it's one of them ones with sand with a little crab on the end for the handle and a lobster claw is the shovel. Man, you, you get that out of there. See that? Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Get that out. Look, my garden is ready in literally five seconds. My new garden for the next season is ready in two seconds. Stuck again. Shake that sucker half a bit. Shake him like, shake him like a soft shake. Shake him like he stole something. Got my wallet. You got my money. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Look. Take that off. Take that off. Clean that off. What you got? One, two, three, four new gardens. For four new plants. Four new trees. What is you waiting for? What is you waiting for right now? And here, 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 here. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. Just, just so you know, we ain't playing. Let me see. I'm gonna try to do this as swift as swift as I can.
We ain't gonna do that. But I'm gonna show you this. So you, I'm trying to do something so you know. See this? This is a lemon tree. In the same kind of pot I just showed you. I ain't done nothing to this lemon tree. Nothing. I took this off of an air layer that I took off a of lily. Now look, I did that in the spring. Y'all saw me do this in a video in the spring. Boom. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. Family. Y'all saw me do this in the spring. This was just a stick in the spring. Now it give, it's giving me food before the year is out. These lemons was on there before the new year. That's food. It's not just food, it's health. Lemons are medicinal. Everything about them from the skin to the seeds is medicinal. The seeds gonna help you grow more lemons. The rind, ugh, I, I, I don't even wanna get started. Stop wasting your dog on time. How easy is it to take care of chickens? How easy is it to take care of ducks? I got ducks out there in the lake. They messy though. Do you keep your seeds? What for? I keep most of my seeds with the plants, but all these lemons? I promise you family, if you get started right now, next year you gonna be so happy. I had, I had, so many pomegranates this year. I never did no videos on. I kept taking little videos. I wish I would have showed you. If you saw how many lemons I had, right? Y'all saw how many persimmons I had. You saw how many pears I had. I didn't even get a chance to show you my, uh, my pomegranates. Pomegranate is one of the most healthiest fruits on the planet. And I'm just growing them. You want to see something? I'm, this is embarrassing, but I'm just trying to be real. I'm going to set these lemons down. This is embarrassing, but I'm trying to be real so you understand exactly about how many pomegranates I had. Look at it. <clears throat> Where is it at? There it go. Okay. There it go. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Stick with me. See that? <clears throat> Here go one. Here go one that fell. It's full of seeds now. Uh, the one I stepped on by accident. Here it go. All the seeds. <clears throat> Let me see if you can see that. That's gross. All the seeds right here. Stepped on that one the other day. Look at all them pomegranate seeds. <coughs> all them pomegranate seeds. That's how, that's how many pomegranate. Look at this. I'm just seeing this. I'm just seeing that one. That's how many pomegranates I had. To the point you don't even got to care. You understand? You don't even got to care no more. Feel me? I never even got a chance to do no videos. I got so many, I had, I had so many buckets of pomegranates that literally I couldn't get them all from the top of this, look at it, from the top of, way up there. Top, up there by the roof. Pomegranates was way up there. Them is some of the ones that fell. I left them to the birds. That tree, that pomegranate tree used to be this big, smaller than this actually. And I got it from Home Depot and it came in a little orange bucket, a little orange and the bucket is around here somewhere. A year and a half, two years ago, you'll see it in some of my old videos, and it's about this tall, right there. Guess what? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got about 12 of these jokers. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. Get, just start planting stuff. Look, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me take you down here with me real quick, okay? Cause I'm, I'm, people making me nervous. Uh, because it ain't it ain't my business what you should or shouldn't be doing. But it is my business if you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing because you just don't know. If I know and I can help you, then I feel better. I can sleep at night if I know I told you everything that I know. You did. 
That way, you ain't got to be hurting. I, I feel better that way. So come on with me. Let's roll. Ugh. Hold on. I'm going to show you something. I hope this thing reach. I hope this thing reach. When you don't know... <clears throat> When you don't know, you ain't got time to plant stuff. Let me see. I don't got my. I can't believe I don't got my knife on me. If you don't got time to grow nothing, right? And you like, man, I found a sale. Remember, I did the video on the, the blueberries at Walmart. Do you see all these pots? I didn't have time to plant them all year because I was always at work. So what you do? When you ain't got time, cut the bottom of your bucket off. Cut the bottom off and just set it on the ground. And it's going to start growing just like a normal tree. It's going to, those roots going to reach down into that soil. And it's literally, you won't be able to pick it up. You dig what I'm saying? It's going to be there. And sooner or later, when you get ready and you got time to plant it, it's already planted. All you got to do is cut that doggone black bucket off, take a razor blade, go straight down, pull that off like a banana peel. And your, your plants, look, I have not watered them, touched them, nothing. Y'all, look, they still got the damn tag on them, family. They still got the tag on them, all of them, see them? My old blueberries is back here, the old blueberry field. This is all what I got from Walmart. You dig? Look here. All of this right here. Man, cut the bottom off. Set that sucker down somewhere. Set it down somewhere. Hit it with a little water. It's going to catch on. Ain't no excuse why you ain't got no time. Want to see something? I'm going to show you this. I'm showing you the mess, okay? <clears throat> this was my holding area for trees and plants that I buy. All of this is figs. Brown turkey. I don't even know what this is no more. What is this? A black Italian. I got all these fig trees right here. Why is they right there? You know why? Cause like the like uh, uh <clears throat> my man said in a uh, Jurassic Park um uh, uh, uh life <laughs> uh life uh, uh life finds a way. Life finds a way. Them suckers busted through the bucket. Jeff Goldblum, that's my man. <laughs> They busted through the bucket and rooted through the bucket, and now they there forever. So I don't even bother with them. I leave them alone. They're going to be there. They're going to grow up, and they're going to be huge right there. You know why? Because life found a way. I ain't had nothing to do with them. That is not where I wanted them to be. Let me show you another one. I tell you all this story all the time. Life finds a way. See this giant pecan tree? Been giving me pecans? Why is it right there? See, y'all don't know my land, but trust me, that has no business being right there. You know why that's there? Because <clears throat> I, I cut the bottom out of it one year. I bought it, and it was one foot tall. If you look at my old videos, you will see it. I cut the bottom out of that bucket, and I stuck that sucker right there so it don't nothing happen to it. That's an Elliot pecan tree. All the ducks and, la and stuff laughing at me. That's an Elliot pecan tree. I stuck it there. So that next, I stuck it there that fall. That spring, I went to pick it up. It, I just said, I ain't got time. I'm, I'm going to hurt my back. I left it there. It chose where it wanted to be. And now I'm getting pecans from that sucker. See, my video that I'm putting out after this is telling you, just do it. You don't know where you're going to put no trees, right? Man, so you don't know where you're going to put no plants at. I'm trying to see where she got all these plants, man. Oh, they in the house. She, we keep buying food. We keep buying plants. We keep buy, buying seeds and just dumping them anywhere planting them anywhere. I'd be like, baby, why are you planting stuff right there? She said, where are we going to plant them at? Well, give me a minute so I can go clear out the bed. Mm -mm. I ain't waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> lady, 
Lady Lid is like, uh 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 uh, I ain't waiting on you. Uh uh, no. I'm if, I, if I, I'm about to plant this right now. I'm not. I'm not waiting on you, no, buddy. So, any questions? Why again? Why you shouldn't? There is no question. You know something? <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you. Uh, Gigi's natural homestead. If she's still in here, hey, the messy homesteader. Gigi's natural said to be saying the same stuff about eco neighbor. She be like, uh uh, mm -mm, I am not waiting on you. And you know what? I've heard you say that before. And every time I start cracking up, you know how me and Eco be. Baby, I got this. I got you. I got you. You go relax. Drink you some lemonade. I... Mm-mm. 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 No. So she be out here doing the damn thing. Let me show you some of her work. See? I'm planting trees all over the place. But she be, she be killing the game. She be killing the game. We got echinacea, all that stuff that got me well. All that echinacea, she planted all that stuff in there. Got them seeds, strawberries still growing over there in the doggone corner. All the ginkgo biloba. You kidding me? She is not waiting on me. And you shouldn't wait. I listen now. No, I don't want to. I don't want to disrupt no happy home. <clears throat> I'm not saying to cross your spouse. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, if they like, I don't want, I'm not interested in growing food, then move, go, move, you're gonna have to do that by yourself. Stop waiting on them to do that. Stop waiting on other people to save your life. Stop waiting on other folks to save your life. I don't know what it's going to take for folks to get it, man. Every time you call the police, that's why people end up dead. It ain't, it, it's not the police fault that the dude is in your house acting a fool. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the reality, and I'm not putting police down. I'm talking about the reality of the response time of the police. By the time they come from cross town, stopping another dog on shooting or a murder or prostitution ring, something by the time they come from that, cause these is the same cops. These are these dudes is like a nurse or a doc. They got other jobs to do, man. So that's why they come with their blood pumping. And y'all got a little simple domestic dispute, but they're across town, man. Across town they just got through, you know. Having to deal with something serious. By the time they get to you, it's too late. By the time the Amelands get to you, it's too late. And you want you blame the Amelands, you blame the police because it's too late. No. S most of our simple situations, the first blame goes to you and me. You know why? Because, <clears throat> one, you should know how to protect your own household. You should know the laws on how to protect your own household. Number two, if you're, there's a medical emergency, you should be up. Everybody, everybody in this whole place right now watching me know good and well that everybody's health situation in their household. Everybody know it. One person got asthma, one person got heart problems, one person, everybody got sugar, everybody know. So what do you know on trying to help them in a medical emergency besides calling 911? See, that first thing is yours. Do you know CPR? There is no reason nobody watching me right now, it's 1,490 people in the house right now, there's no reason on the planet Earth that you should not know CPR. And I'm talking about from a child to an adult. There is no reason you shouldn't know CPR, basic CPR training. And no, you do not have to be a medical professional to do it. No, you do not necessarily have to be certified. The only time you have to be certified and licensed is if you are in a medical facility. But everybody should have basic, basic, basic medical training. You need to know how to resuscitate somebody if they fall down. 
We can't keep giving all our power and putting all our responsibilities on outside sources. And then when they come and they don't save your loved one life or they don't protect you the way you feel like you need to be protected, then they end up on the news. We end up blaming them or something. They won't even have to come and get in your business if you handled it first. Some stuff I understand that you, you got to call in a third party. But most of the times, we don't got to do that. We can handle that right in the house. Right in the house. You will end up saving your family member's life. You will end up saving yourself some money for that ambulance ride and everything else. All of that. <clears throat> so that response time people don't talk about. Hello, 911. Look how many long it took him to say that. Hello, 911. What's your emergency? But the first thing you say, would you just listen? They have to know. All of that explaining nonsense, man. You wasting time. They bust in the front door already. They in the house now. They coming up the stairs. And she's like, wait, 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 calm down. What's your name? What's the address? All of that, man, could have been sour with as soon as they bust through the door looking crazy. Chopper style. Chop, chop, chopper style, chopper style, chop, chop, chopper style. If you dig what I'm saying, if you don't dig what I'm saying, I'm not gonna explain that to you, <laughs> okay? You pull out them guard dogs. You let a couple of them Rottweilers off. You dig what I'm saying? You let you let a couple of them Rottweilers off the leash and people go to, people go to running. You let a couple of them Rottweilers off and watch people leave your house in a hurry. Like it's Thanksgiving and they don't want to help you clean up after dinner. <laughs> Let me stop. But listen, y'all. True story. I'm going to get off of here. But there's no reason why you shouldn't be growing something. There's no reason why you shouldn't be growing your own food right now. There is no reason. There is no excuse on the planet Earth with everything going on why you shouldn't be trying to grow something. If you know something, uh, if, if I could, if I had just this, I'm trying to look for something that I need to have planted. That I ain't planted yet. And it's in the front of the house. We're going to do it together. You, you with me? So I can show you how simple it is. Who down with me? To do a quick planting. A quick planting. Who down? Anybody? Show of hands. If you down, I'm going to do it. If not, we're going to call it a day. We down? All right. Stick with me. Because the, the, the Wi-Fi might break up a little bit. Okay? Like the five heartbeats. Hold on a minute. We're going to do this. This going to be a little difficult. But you gonna, I'm going to take you with me. This going to be a little stupid too, okay? If it break up, just hold on. It's going to break up, so just hold on. Let me raise it up a little bit. Maybe that'll help. All right, I'm gonna hit y'all with some. I'm gonna hit y'all with some game real quick. Okay, like I told you, just keep buying the doggone plants in the trees. Keep buying the plants in the trees. You gonna need them. You don't know what. Look, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this, but I'm sure gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. So, uh, here we go. Um, eeny meeny miny pomegranate. <clears throat> Mm, no, let's do a persimmon. Let's do a persimmon tree. Let's do a persimmon tree. You know what I got this for? I just bought it just because. That's why. Things is getting so stupid that... Things is getting so stupid. Hold on. Ugh. Let's hurry up. Okay. Things is getting so stupid that... You can't be doing too much rational stuff, man. So, you see this pomegranate? Okay. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Bust it up, Walmart laundry bucket. Bust it. Okay. The reason why that's busted, I whipped that with my, uh, it don't matter. Watch this. This is how this how real it is around here. Stay with me, okay? 
Them buckets that I just emptied out. Look at that. Look at that right there. Perfect soil, right? Perfect soil. Spray that around a little bit. Bust that down. Oh, let me look, let you down here with me. Bust that down. See, I ain't doing nothing perfect. This ain't HGTV. This land TV. Now you take your tree. Whatever. I'm going to show you straight out the gate, man. What kind of soil is it laying? Hell, I don't know. I don't even know. You don't even know it. Go on, massage him a little bit. You know. Go on, take your shoes off. Sit somewhere. You one more button. Watch that. Break him off something proper. Just like that. Boom. I ain't even got to water that joint in because the soil already moist from the rain. It's winter time. We ain't got to do nothing but sit and watch that grow. Y'all you know I mean, look. We just did that in how long? See what I'm saying? If you already got the tree in the front, you already been saving your soil in the back. You didn't know what you about to do with none of it. I just showed you. This exact same thing I did in the fall. And you want to see what that same little stick look like? Just like that. Look. Same plant. Now look at it. Branched off. New branches. Everything on that boy. Bigger, taller, and it used to look like this, a straight up stick. Now, for all the folks to keep talking about some, what kind of soil, what kind of fertilizer, what kind of this, what kind of that, what kind of bucket, what kind, of, is it, is it non-GMO? Huh? If you keep on asking them dumb questions, you're going to get dumb answers. See? That's it, man. That's it. It's, it's no simpler. I literally, you can time it. Go back and time the video from me running to the front of my house, okay, which is about a quarter of an acre, running back here, transferring the soil, getting a pot. This is going to feed my family. In just a few minutes if you go out now go purchase you a fruit tree yes you can grow it on an apartment balcony yes you can <clears throat> only difference is is your neighbor's gonna get mad every time you got to go out there and water your your dog on trees and plants and stuff and the water be dripping down on their balcony it ain't whether you can grow it on your balcony or not it's is you gonna piss off your neighbors that's the only problem you about to have whether you can gr actually grow it, the answer is yes. But will you piss your neighbors off? That's the only real problem you got. This ain't got nothing to do with the gardening game. This got to do with uh, uh, brotherly love. Okay? That's family. That's how I've done all of this. That's how I've done all of this. That's why when you walk down my garden, it don't make no sense. Why come he got an apple and then a pear? And then a fig, that don't even make no damn sense. Why didn't he put all the figs in one place, all the pineapples in one place, all the bananas? Because I do stuff at the spur of the moment. And if I'm moved and be like, you know what, this is a this is a space. I got a I got an Asian pear tree growing out there in the middle of my big garden right there. And I'm gonna tell you something about it. It ain't got no business being there whatsoever. I put it there because at the time, that's the only extra space I had. It's actually in a fairly stupid spot because I want to drop this tree. It's in a fairly dumb spot. But now it's giving me fruit. And now I don't want to, what am I do? That's his home now. So cut it out. Cut it out, man. Get your, right now, you know what you should do? Because I'm getting off. So you can do it. Stop watching me. And I'm just going to pick one place, not because I'm favoritism or nothing. I'm just off the top of my head. Go to either Lowe's 
or go to Home Depot right now. The only reason I'm not I'm saying them and not calling online because you can go and grab one right now, have it in your hands right now. Sometimes online ain't hitting. Sometimes you need something in your hands right now. Go to a big box store. I don't care if it's Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever you got in your city. Go and grab some kind of fruiting plant or fruiting tree and plant it today or tomorrow you're going to feel so much better about yourself. And once you see how easy it is, just like what I just did, look, I ain't got to do nothing else. Once you see how easy it is, my bet, my guarantee to you, I bet you you go get another one the day after you put that sucker in the pot <clears throat> or in the ground, I bet you you go get another one. I don't even know you, and I'll make that dollar bet all day. Once you see how easy it is, it become addicting. But this is a good addiction. The reason why this is a good addiction is because your addiction ain't getting you sick. Your addiction ain't killing you. Your addiction is saving your life. You get addicted to planting garden and planting food, you know what's going to happen? You're going to have food. And this is the only addiction. That ain't nobody going to have you in a circle full of people. What is that? Intervention. Ain't nobody getting no intervention. The only time you're going to have a, a bunch of people gathered around you, surprising you, is be like, hey, uh, you got some more of them potatoes, the ones you had grew last year? Boy, them boys was killer. You hear me? You got any more of them oranges? They say you got a lot of lemons. You got them lemons? You still got lemons? Juice, lemons, no, seeds, something. That's going to be the intervention. They're going to be around you getting on your damn nerve, just like a dope head, right? They be around you. Oh, Jimmy, we, <laughs> we love you so much. We don't want to see you die like this. Oh, Jimmy. It's going to be a whole other kind of intervention. And ain't no, the only time you're going to see your family members crying is when you say, hell no. Potatoes. Fool, no, you didn't even help me, girl. You didn't even help me get them potatoes up. I helped, I called you. Uh uh, Bill, cut that bullshit. I called you to have you help me plant these potato seeds. You was like, man, you had a hot day. That's the only time you're gonna see your family members crying. Not because you about to kill yourself, because they can't get down with none of the potatoes, orange, peel, uh, uh, collard greens, cabbage, kale, all that. And you know they're gonna start, man, your skin looks so nice. What you doing to your skin? What you put? What you putting on your skin? <laughs> what you got a new? Something going? Nah, 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 nah. It's broccoli. Little kale. I don't know. I'm, I start juicing. I guess juicing a little bit. <clears throat> juicing with Jay. I've been watching juicing with Jay, and Jay been having me. You know, with this new. It don't matter. But you can't. You can't roll with me. So, <laughs> I promise you. Just start. Just start. I promise you. I promise you. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, go look at any other gardener. And you don't even got to go to other platforms. Just on YouTube alone. Go to any other, any other one. And you're going to see. It sounds like I'm crazy for people that don't watch me. Or just your first time on my channel. It sounds like I'm losing my mind. Because in a way, I kind of am. Because once you see what this do, what I just did just now. That what I just did, what I just did, gave me this. Food. You see how simple I just planted that? That persimmon tree? <clears throat> how simple I just planted that persimmon tree and now the next season you start getting food. There is no feeling like that. There is no feeling. Ladies, it's that kind of feeling when he dropped down to one knee. You thought it was still in them streets. And he like, man, I'm done. I'm done out there, man. And he dropped to that one knee. And he's serious. And he in front of all the people that you kind of don't like. He dropped down to that one knee and be like, girl. I, I know this is crazy, but I can't, I, can't, I can't go another day with us being separate. It's like that. That's the feeling you have, brother. It's that feeling of you got your nerves all wound up. You've been trying to ask her for, you finally got up the nerve to ask, look, I, damn, 
I, girl, I know, I know we're friends and all. I love you, though. I know this going to mess up our friendship, but I, I can't keep on being your friend. I can't be, keep being your friend. I know this sounds crazy right now. I can't keep being your friend. And then she said, listen, hey, I love you, too. You say, you say what? I love you, too. I've been waiting for you to say something. That feeling. That one leap. That one leap of faith that you just go out there. Just, just I'm, My heart is on my sleeve, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going for what I know. Just plant that tree, that dirt, man. I don't know what's about to happen. Either something bad about to happen or something good about to happen. It ain't going to be no in between. Either it's going to be a no or it's going to be a yes. Most of the time, it's a yes. Because this fruit tree going to keep on pumping out this food. Your garden going to keep on pumping out that food. Constantly. You're going to see it in your health. You're going to see it in your skin. You're going to see it in your lifestyle. You're going to feel it in your energy. And it's going to work. Everybody look at me and say, how you know? You fat. But I'm alive. And I just ran a quarter mile. Not a quarter mile, but a quarter acre. And I ain't breathing. Y'all seen it. Y'all was with me. Call it what you want to, y'all. Sometimes, man, it ain't what you see. It's, it's what's up in them guts, son. You know what I mean? So, here's another thing. Somebody said, grow your medicine, too. Let me tell you something. Let me... I'm about to hurt your feelings. I'm about to hurt your feelings a little bit. Just a little bit. You ready for, you ready for your feelings to be hurt? Okay. I'm going to hurt your feelings just, just a wee bit. <clears throat> Just a wee bit. And, and, and I'm doing this to you for y'all, and then I'm gonna leave. You see the lettuce and the kale and everything, right? It's going to seed from the heat. But I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. Hold on. Somebody say, grow your medicine. You doggone right. Do you see what that is? That look gross, don't it? It look gross. This is my elixir that I made out of everything I grew out here. Ginger, turmeric. I left turmeric out of that video. I totally forgot about it. Ginger, turmeric, raw honey, all of that's lemons, uh, wine, all of that stuff right here. And then you asking me right now, well, why is it outside? Have you ever made sun tea? Have you ever made sun tea? I made sun tea years ago and put it on, on a video years ago. You do the homework and then you tell me the benefits of sun tea. That tea, that drink absorbing all that goodness off the sun. Now it's going to do the same thing right in here. So I'll put this out here to absorb that sunlight. So I'm going to drink it right now to you. Guava. Ooh. It's so, it's so, it's so strong. Guava family. I'm going to make you get that mouth right there, boy. <laughs> make you get that one right there. Duck mouth like... That right there is why I'm not sick. <laughs> this. I ain't been to no hospital. I ain't got to go to no hospital. Because everything you need, everything that that doctor going to give you is in this jar. But it's just in a powder form and he got it in a pill. And you going to pay $400 for four pills. That's the only difference. We wouldn't even need that kind of crazy medication if we ate more of this. If we ate more of this here, we wouldn't even need him to tell us what we need to be doing for our health. We would not have to go into that building where they keep it ice cold and keep on asking, can I get another warm blanket? And you know you're going to get that bill. You're going to get that bill and you're going to come home and tell kids, y'all, we, we can't go to Disney World this year. But, Dad, you promised. I know. That's before I got sick. 
You see this bill? You gonna help me with this bill? Just to let you know. So I'm gonna get out of here. I hope y'all hear me. I hope, not me. I hope you hear yourself because inside you know good and well. You know good and well. You telling yourself I need to be doing that for real. You even might even be telling yourself that's a little outlandish. You're not, you know, I'll probably never do it. But I need to be doing it. I need to be doing that right there. You know good and well when you seeing what's right. You know it, your real you be like, I know I need to be doing that. For real. So. I'm talking to that part of you. Not the part like this fool crazy. He talking about some pulling chicken eggs out of the butts of chicken. Man, you got your rabbit. Man, please. Okay? That's it, family. I hope you guys at least give it a shot. Because everything I just showed you, I'm going to show you that same tree that I just put in that pot. I'm going to show you that this summer, and we're going to keep track of it. Okay? And you go back and see exactly how long it took. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I just wanted to show you. I done cleared out all my garden, my, my container garden, and planted a tree in an hour. Everything is ready for new food. All right? So, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope, I hope you just try something. I hope you try it yourself. All right? Guava. Right now, this is not a time to be wondering, should I grow my own food? And you walk through the store here and do a <laughs> He just coughed all over the chicken legs. <laughs> even if you can afford, even if you can afford the chicken legs right now, do you want to touch him? After he done. <laughs> and them little babies, little babies snot running down. They, they look like Wyatt Earp mustache on a snot baby. Them little snot babies have a mush, snot mustache on them, like wide earth. And then, <clears throat> Mama, can I go to the toys? <laughs> you just looking like, that baby just touched all the doggone boxes of crackers. And then he just walking down the aisle, just touching. <laughs> you seen it, just sliding his fingers. You're like, wait, 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 little boy, wait, huh? Ooh, don't touch that last box of crackers, I swear, don't do it. And you know his mama gonna get mad. Who you, who baby, you kids you talking to like that? I'm talking to your old snotty baby. Ma'am, I don't want no trouble. I just want a box of crackers. And your baby done wiped boogers on about 20 boxes of, of, of saltines. I just want one on. Please. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about that going to the store, growing your own stuff. All right, Left Farm 73, I love you, and I'm out. Cool. It's, it's them bad snotty babies everywhere, too. All of them be sick. They don't be having on no shirts, no shoes, or nothing, Jesus. They don't be having on nothing. They come out to the them snotty babies, bringing babies in the store. Ain't even got no clothes. If he about 19 degrees, baby ain't got on nothing but a, like a muscle shirt. <laughs> Bring your baby outside with a muscle shirt and some footies on. And the mama got on pajamas. Lord help us. Lord help us. We, we in some trouble, man. We in some trouble. I remember growing up, man, we had to get dressed up to go out to eat. Go to a restaurant, man. I'm talking about you had to put on some hard shoes, the kind that's going to hurt your feet. And a tie. You couldn't just go to McDonald's like that. You just couldn't go to, like, Ponderosa like that, man. You had to put on some something, something silky, man. You know? You had to put on something where you like, man, I kind of like this. <laughs> I like this feeling of this shirt, ma. You had to put on these kind of clothes, the kind that make you keep feeling yourself like, man, I like this material. Now, man, people come out looking like anything, anything. Let me get off here, because I'm about to do it again. No more, no more three-hour video. Everybody have a wonderful night, wonderful day. Go plant something. Go plant something right now for yourself and for your family. Left Arm 73, I love you, and I'm out.